Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor, and today we're going to use the combined gas law. So we have a sample of sulfur hexachloride gas that occupies 9.1 liters at 198 degrees Celsius. What temperature in Celsius is needed to reduce the volume to 2.5 liters? We're going to assume constant pressure and a fixed amount of gas. So if we were to use the combined gas law, what we have is P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over final temperature. Okay. Well, here we're told that we have a constant pressure and a fixed amount of gas. So in this case here, my pressure terms would cancel out. So what we're left with is initial volume over initial temperature equal to final volume over final temperature. So let's go ahead and define each one of these. We're told that our gas occupies 9.1 liters at 198 degrees. So our initial volume is 9.1 liters and our initial temperature is 198 degrees. And this is in Celsius. Now remember when using the combined gas law, we have to convert to Kelvin. So Kelvin temperature will equal 198 degrees plus 273.15. So our Kelvin temperature then will be 471 Kelvins. Okay, so now um, we're being told that we want to reduce the volume to 2.5 liters. So what is this temperature in Celsius going to be? So uh, what we're looking for is the final temperature. And we know that the final volume is 2.5 liters. Okay, let's go ahead and rearrange this so that we can solve for T2. And the way we do that is we want to solve for T2. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by T2. Okay, so let's let, let me show you the algebra here. So T2 and multiply that by V1 over T1. And here we have V2 over T2 times T2. Now I want to have T2 by itself, so I'm also going to have to multiply both sides by T1. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, notice that T2 cancels out here, and notice that T1 cancels out here. So what I'm left with is T2 times V1 equals V2 times T1. And now let's just divide both sides by V1. We want to isolate T2. And what we end up with then is T2 is going to be equal to V2 times T1 over V1. So now all we have to do is plug in the values. So let's see. T2 is equal to V2 is 2.5 liters. And T1 is 471 Kelvins. And we're going to divide this by V1, which is 9.1 liters. And notice that my units cancel here and I'm left in Kelvin. So let's see, we have 2.5 times 471 divided by 9.1. And that gives us 129 Kelvin. So you can go ahead and um, check your answer by just plugging back in. Now, the problem asked for degrees Celsius, so we need to convert the Kelvin to Celsius, okay, 
And so Kelvin temperature is degrees Celsius plus 273.15, right? So degrees Celsius then will be Kelvin minus 273.15, and that's going to be 129 Kelvin minus 273.15. So that gives us a negative 144 degrees Celsius. So here we use a combined gas law, but it reduced to this here because the pressure and the amount of gas was constant. So this would be an example of Charles's law, where we relate volume and temperature.